Um, so I mean, I guess listen, let, let's let's get into a little bit of, of what we missed at Comic Con that oh. I was I told the guy I was so pissed. So obviously, Comic Con has a bunch of panels and stuff, and uh, two of the things that we missed were. Um, Listen, there was a whole Daredevil Born Again presentation, man, on Saturday. And I told the guys, like, we were literally, like, 40 feet away from where this bitch happened. We were over uh, there digging through comic bins, not oh, to wow. expose anybody, because that's what we that's what we were doing, because we're degenerates like that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so while we were digging through comic bins about maybe 40 or 50 feet over to our right, we started hearing some some eruptions and and that was the the daredevil presentation where charlie cox and uh and um uh who plays pun uh, uh d'onofrio uh, uh yeah kingpin uh yeah. so yeah d'onofrio and charlie cox were out there obviously daredevil and kingpin uh did a whole presentation um actually actually put together a little i got a little you know while waiting for leo and all that uh, I'll bring this banner down real quick. So I wanted to give a shout out. So obviously the costumes were on display at New York Comic Con. I didn't even catch that. Damn. Um, there was a little panel there with the two of them answering some questions about the show. Nice. There, I don't know if you guys caught. I put it in the group tra- ch- group chat. The trailer did leak. The trailer that was that was on New York, New York Comic Con oh, leaked, did? and I watched it. And let me tell you something. This is the next Marvel project I'm excited yes. about. This has me, the violence in that trailer. Thank had God. me like we saw punisher we saw kingpin we saw muse we saw daredevil how does muse, <laughs> how does muse look is that the purple, Looks good. purple suit is that supposed to be his thing or the the one who you're seeing in the picture in the middle there, yeah that's muse oh that's muse. um i heard, that's Diabo- muse. I heard diabolical things about him yeah muse is a fucked up character yeah <laughs> so <laughs> the fact that they're doing muse is uh is, is actually really dope to me it, it shows me that they're going back to that that netflix style of punisher and daredevil at yeah, least that's awesome. what they're going for um and then you know uh, before we get into the comic corner i'll i'll you know pre I, I put together a little thing here myself so these comic books were actually on display at new york comic-con so if you want to pick them up i'm gonna pull leo here and say you should probably try and pick them up however yeah. these are oldies so good luck because yeah. yeah, finding luck. them in good shape is gonna be tough yeah i, I can i can personally tell you that <laughs> most of these three covers are gonna probably be either like astronomical in price mm-hmm. or you know or, or find a reprint or find yeah. a reprint or find a reprint, <laughs> I mean, like, literally <laughs> A reprint's probably still going to cost you a piece of change. Damn, um, literally. Yeah, but these were these were the three they put up on display. So my assumption is they're going with the storylines from these comics. They're going to be yeah. in the in the you know what I mean in the um the show. Electra is interesting though. That's are they the fact like, that Electra's yeah. there is that's, interesting that's to super, me. That's a yep. super classic cover, bro. And super then um classic. so obviously just for the audio listeners out there, it's Daredevil one seventy nine. Uh, hopefully you guys can jump over the YouTube and see the visuals that I have here, but. Uh, Daredevil 227, which has um, uh, Kingpin in the background of it. Uh, and then there's also Daredevil 232. Th- these are some, this is below a dollar comics we're talking here. So you know they ain't going to be cheap now that they got leaked. You know what I'm saying? These yeah. 75 centers and 60 centers. So, yeah, so like no, I said, good luck. No, no, no diddy on blow a dollar. No diddy. Um, <laughs> and then I, just, I threw two in here just based on the rumors and what we saw in the trailer. So um, I threw in here. Uh, Daredevil number 11 from 2016. This is the first appearance of Muse. That's a crazy cover. Um, and then on the right, we got the first appearance of Colleen Wing, who is the female Iron Fist, who basically has been confirmed for the Daredevil series. Yeah, right? which, I, listen, so. listen I, uh, I I like her very much. Yes. I like her very much. <laughs> and also, uh, in case you were wondering, uh, in, if, for, again, if you're not an audio listener, that's uh, Iron Fist number uh, nine, 19. 19? 19. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a 25 cent cover. Good luck finding that motherfucker. Yeah, you ain't finding that. Because <laughs> if you find it, it's gonna cost you at least a hundred dollars. Right. Also, you have not you have, graded. <laughs> you also have five people on this podcast who are gonna rob you. So probably, yeah, that might, <laughs> that might really be a thing. So yeah, that that's basically all. Man, I would listen. I'm bummed out that we missed this. Um, you know, obviously so to to a lesser extent, we we missed Tom Hardy being there as well, doing a mm-hmm. Venom preview thing. Um, I hate to I hate to bring it up like that in that aspect but um you know uh the fact that tom hardy was there was kind of cool he said some cool things and he sounded like he's kind of um from the the playbacks i watched of comic-con he sounded like he was um pretty much done with venom unless something drastic happens yeah so. i listen i think they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna end up signing him for something else to at least hang out with a spider-man and, and i basic- say a spider-man because he basically made it sound like unless he's fighting a spider-man he's not going back to play venom again don't blame him don't blame <laughs> him at all honestly it's a smart so, move by him it's a smart move by him because so, like yeah. i like i like him like i like the way he voices venom i don't yeah. like how goofy they are i think they could be a little less goofy but 
I don't know. Maybe yeah. they're they're also missing a fucking thing on their chest, but you know, don't get me started. <laughs> don't get me. Um, started. That being said, I'll probably end up going to see Venom: The Last Dance this weekend because my lovely girlfriend and her kids love Venom, so I'm probably gonna be forced to go see this. Nice. <laughs> so I'll let you guys know because currently on Rotten Tomatoes, sitting at a forty percent. So. Oh wow, that's up from thirty-seven actually. <laughs> so yeah, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> that's up from thirty-seven. Awesome.